I say it all the time. If you took the 10 worst presidents in the history of our country, they will not have done the damage that crooked Joe Biden and this corrupt administration have done to the United States of America. So we want to send a strong signal. So even though we're leading by a lot, you have to go out and vote. You just have to do it. If it's cold, if it's hot, I don't care what the hell it is, you have to go out and vote, okay? And just, just don't sit back. You know, the one thing, and they really did it in uh, every speech, I started off by saying, look, we're leading by a lot, but you must go out and vote. Don't sit home and say, well, you know what? I love the president, but he's going to win by so much. Because we have to show big margins. We have to show margins like never before, which is what happened last night. We have to show margins like never before, because we have to take back our country. And if we don't take back our country, we're not going to have a country. I love your state. There's never been a better president for your state. Your businesses were thriving. And, and frankly, anything they have right now, and it's not very good, is running on the fumes of what I did, what my administration did, but what I did. So we're going to get your gas prices down. We're going to get your taxes down and extend it. They're going to, if they, if they let the Trump's tax cuts, the biggest in history, if they let that float and go back, your taxes are going to quadruple. It's going to quadruple. We can't let it happen. So we have to win in November. But let's just start with your vote next week, Tuesday. You have to go out. You have to vote. And you have to give us those margins. And, and I want to thank you, though, because I said at the beginning, remember, that uh, in 2016 I came here. And you gave me a vote of confidence like nobody could have ever given anybody. We won by massive numbers, and it was an amazing thing. It was a great vote of confidence. And don't forget, I never did this stuff before, right? <laughs> now I did it. I know everybody. In, I know the weak ones, the stupid ones, the brilliant ones. <laughs> I know them all. I know the best ones. I went there. I said, how's this guy? I had to rely on rhinos to give me advice. I don't like that kind of advice. And we had great people. Look, we rebuilt our military. Think of all the things we did. Even right to try, you know, medical. So for years and years, they wanted to get right to try, what's called right to try, meaning to try a medicine or a cure for a disease. The problem was nobody wanted it. The country didn't want it because of liability. Doctors didn't want it. The insurance companies didn't want it. And the pharmaceutical companies. But we have the best labs in the world. And people are dying, and we thought that maybe uh, we'll do something. And you know, They'd come to me and say, we can't do it, because if we do it, and if they get injured because of the medicine or whatever it is that they're going to be doing or taking, uh, we'll have a liability. I said, these people are terminally ill. They're not going to get injured. You're, they're dying. They're going to be dead in a fairly short period of time. They will sign something. And I got everybody in a room. I did it. I got them everybody in a room, and I got the insurance companies to agree. got everybody with the insurance companies and the labs. I said, we're not going to count it on your numbers. I have a separate set. They didn't want to take people that were terminally ill because they didn't want accounting. You know, it doesn't make their product look good. I said, but look at it a different way. Think of it works. Then you're going to save all these people. And that's what happened. And so we have saved thousands and thousands of lives with right to try. And that had to get passed by Congress. We had to get through. We had to get that through Congress. So I just want to say, uh, we love you. I'll be back here for a lot, because we want to win this. We want to win this state. We want to win this state. And now I'm going to go out and brave that cold weather, and I'm going to get back to that airplane. And then I'm going to go back to New York tonight, and then I'm going to go to one of these phony cases tonight where we have Tomorrow morning early, nice and early. You know what I do? My, here's my schedule for the next four or five days. I come here. I meet with great groups in New Hampshire. I then get on a plane late at night when it's snowing and freezing out. Wonderful. And the pilots say, sir, it's going to be tough. And I get there early in the morning. I go to a Biden witch hunt. And then I come here in the afternoon, and I stop, and we make speeches, and we get your votes and all that stuff. But nobody's ever had to do this before. These people are disgraceful. They're a disgrace to our country. I want to just leave this. We are going to win on Tuesday at a level that maybe could even be bigger than what we just did last night in Iowa. And the greatest expression of all time, I think the greatest slogan, whatever you want to call it, 
It's called Make America Great Again. It's called MAGA. It's the greatest of all time. We are going to put America first, and we are going to make America great again. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody.